Alright, let's actually probably sit again as well. We had a rather fast conclusion after the second game. Oh, the one in Ancient Isles with the sapling of Sonic dying to Mass Archer Focus Fire. Let's see if Chai can actually manage to 3 0 Sonic. And Sonic, oh damn. Check is going for the greedy, greedy more camp creep, and Sonic is just like, you know, fuck this shit, I've got Asian of all rush. This is gonna be great. Let's go. If we see a Priestess of the Moon now as well, like Mass Tier 1, like, dude, it would be awesome. Come on, let's see now, the hero choice. It's a Demon Hunter for Jack. Demon Hunter for Sonic. Alright. Now I'm really curious if this works out for Sonic or not. Don't think it's necessarily the best thing to do, but it can work out. It could also just catapult him into a 0-3 loss, so let's see. Alright, it's time. The second moon well is built rather further away from the Ancient of War. So it cannot get cancelled. Is Czech seriously still gonna creep this? Town is under siege. Holy shit, he's actually still gonna creep it. A player's wow. Are under attack. Didn't see that one coming. He's just gonna man mode this, like holy shit. Sonic got the Troll Shadow Priest. Oh, nicely done by Sonic. He gets the Troll Shadow Priest with his Wisp. Detonates that Lightning Shield straight away, so... Check has a much harder time creeping this, but Check is still creeping it really, really well. By being able to go for the Renegade with it straight away with the Engine of War, so no chance for Sonic to steal that one there. Sonic now just... Fully gonna go for the base. And so far... Now the players is attacking yet. Definitely not time for that yet. Sonic could maybe go into mass like tier 1 push. Let's see, if Sonic manages to steal the Troll Buster circuit here, that would be a really big deal. Level 2 for Czech Steam Hunter Nado with the period of vitality. Not the best item for him here, but it's still not too bad. And Czech now heavily supply blocked, he lost his first moon while there already now. And losing quite some wisps as well, he actually can't get that one out of here. He can't get that one. Actually, he can't get that one out of there. Was able to glitch past the Demon Hunter. A player's forces are under so he's quite fine in that regard. And Sonic getting his tech rather early on already. Check evacuated most of his wisps here. No chance for Sonic to win this trade. Not against the level 2 Demon Hunter with so much HP. Check just rebuilding Moonwells now, getting his own tech now as well. But there's still that Ancient of War in his base, which is quite annoying. Sonic is behind on hero levels, but he's rather far ahead with tech and economy. So that's quite nice. And he gets the Troll Berserker as well. Oh, dude. Well, I mean, Check had no chance of getting it because he's supply blocked. Archer production for Sonic as well. No Archer production for Check. This is looking, oh my god, this is looking so good for Sonic. He got another two, maybe even three Wisps picked off. We don't have the Observer bot with the spot here, so I can't fully check the Wisp numbers, but there's like nine Wisps at least, a tenth one in the Moonwell here. Yeah, ten Wisps in total for Check. Where Sonic has like what? 12? Well, that's not too many more, but he killed a lot of, a lot of them. While well, he only got the experience for two kills, I think there were some detonates as well. Forces are under attack. But still, he also killed a Moonwell, cancelled another Moonwell, he got the Trouble Circuit and Troll Shadow Priest from his opponent, which is really damn nice, and can just go for some of his own creeping at this point. Sending another Wisp, is that two actually still more Mercs? Could be. 
Because Sunny could also try to go for a timing tier 2 push with archers with range upgrade, more mercs and Naga. And check he's just busy now trying to get drafted in channel 4, which provides Sonic with enough time to catch up on hero levels as well as items. There we go. Oh, a offensive Ancient of Wonders actually. Mo mostly for, or mainly for healing potions, I guess, as well as staff. Sonic is going full aggressive mode and it's working out really well so far. And he's sending a wisp down to the Merc camp. Is this the comeback that Sonic needs after being down to zero? Or is this a game that looks really good for Sonic and Jack is still gonna turn it around into a 3 0 win? We are about to find out. That guy in Observers wrote at least something new for those that are curious. Oh, alright, that's good to know. Thanks, Teratine. It's indeed something new. And a nice opening to the fight for. Sonic here. Has to be rather careful about his Naga though. It's gonna be daytime quite soon, so he will be able to get more mercs, but he has to make sure that he can get those mercs before he loses all of his momentum here. This is looking good for Sonic so far. Check almost out of Moonwall shoes. Getting his Inch of Wonders already as well though for the healing potions. His keeper is almost ready too. And now Czech is sending Wisp down there to the Merc camp to get more Mercs, but Sonic already has his Wisp there as well, so who can buy the Merc Mercs faster at this point? Sonic actually gets forced into a TP now, so he's gonna lose a shop as well if Czech actually sees that one. And he does see it. So nice defense by Czech here, and Czech manages to get a Troll Shadow Priest. I'll see if Sonic can still get Mud Golem and throw a Circle. Nope, he's not even gonna try. Instead going for a C3 already, as well as the Engine of Wind. And Engine of Wind is back in his base now as well after losing this one here. So even though Sonic had a really nice opening, and his early game was really good, he still couldn't do so much here, and Czech actually had a really nice defense, he has a lot of archers now. No Hunters also, we're probably gonna see Archer Talamira. The thing is still that Czech's economy is a little hurt. Whereas for Sonic, that's not the case, and Sonic's tier 3 tech is just a lot earlier as well. But let's see now, there's still everything open in this game. It's still rather equal, both players out of Moonwell choose. And let's see if Sonic can maybe do a lot with his early tier 3 tech, getting the Orgamal as well as another Troll Berserker. And getting a lot of that Merc firepower. Ring plus three, not exactly the best item here. Probably the worst. I'll tell us my evasion was probably still been worse for his demon hunter. Well then again, pendant of energy would have also been really bad. For example, there are some candidates there. I mean, Pen of Energy is usually bad in this matchup against Demon Hunter because you're never at full mana anyway. And if you're never at full mana, it doesn't matter that you have bonus maximum mana. So that's why you usually sell Pen of Energy in some matchups like this one here. Scroll of the Beast for Sonic. That's not e even too bad. Since he's not playing bears, he doesn't have that one. I like that skill on his bear, so he could very well keep it. Nope, he just sold it. He sold a glass of face as well, so he's full, mostly going to rely on his units instead of his heroes. I mean, even selling a glass of face is rather unusual. He's going to go for heavy unit play, getting his third hero as well, the Dark Ranger. There was no entangle from Jack. His units were just for a way to follow up on it, I guess. And check for now, he's at 43 supply, getting his own Ancient of Wind now as well as his tier 3 tech. And let's see if Sonic can still hit a crucial timing or not. He's at 49 supply already, gonna go for some more creeping. Check was able to secure that invul potion, oh you got a heal potion as well. Wand of Lightning Shield, this item could change the game. 
That really could change the game. Oh, it's Sonic. He's gonna go for that expansion attempt again. Instead of going full aggressive with a potential good timing that he could have had, instead he's just going for the expansion. He's gonna try to win it like this. Nice pick of natural Shadow Priest here. Check just the microing it for some reason. And check really still needs some time. He has his third hero already. He got his orb as well, so actually, never mind, he's pretty much ready to fight. But, well, then again, he doesn't have any talents, whereas Sonic has talents with Master Upgrade. At least two of them, so he still has four more cyc no, three more Cyclones for that Demon Hunter. There's a one of Lightning Shield, though, but on the Orgamala, that one's easy to pick off. And there we go, there's another Cyclone right before the Mana Burn, there's another talent coming in for more Cyclone, even. There still is a TP for check, so he can get out of here. But so far this is looking incredibly good for Sonic. 46 against 38 supply. Keeper is about to die. He's not going to be able to survive. He's dead. And there's an expansion coming up for Sonic behind all of this. So yes, this does seem to be the game that Sonic needed to come back into the series. And it looks a lot like he will be able to equalize. Well, not quite equalize it. But get back into the series with a 2 to 1 score. Still in favor of check. But at this point, this is definitely GG. There's no way that Czech is gonna still turn this around at this point. It's just too much firepower from Sonic. It's fairy fire still as well, expansion coming up. Keeper will not get out of that altar. Can't just get cancelled. There's another Cyclone even. And there we go. Sonic did it. He went for a rather unusual player style. And an incredibly aggressive one at the same time, but he made it work. That's really just the kind of stuff that Sonic plays, I guess. Or likes to play. And this... It really is just GG at this point. There we go, the Hunter says, well, there's the GG. 2-1 for check still, but Sonic is slowly but surely climbing back up there. 